All right, this is from the same place that the other prophetic word came from. On March 8th, I dreamt that a known prophet and I were having an interesting conversation following some thieves that were trying to take a storehouse of new wine for themselves. After the thieves were caught and made to give back the wine, we began to chat on top of a high mountain. I asked him if he liked candles. He replied, yes. I then continued to ask if he liked unscented or fragrant candles. He replied, fragrant. My favorite is Cascade Rain. I then exclaimed, wow, I love Cascade Rain, but many do not know about it. He then started to explain to me that for my birthday, he wanted to gift me with a perfume called Cascade Rain. I immediately thought, wow, that is expensive and rare. It was incredibly special. Through this dream, the Lord shared how the candle and the perfume are connected and that he is anointing his sold out lovers with the fragrance and provision of heaven. It is just like the woman with the alabaster box, my loving wife. She gave it all as an offering to the Lord because Jesus was worth far more than rubies and gold to her. She wasn't looking for fame. She wasn't looking to be known by other ministers. She didn't care if her acts went viral. All she cared about was pouring out all she had onto the king, me. The perfume was laid on the altar of the eternal flame himself. Of the eternal flame himself, me. Of the eternal flame himself. In this hour, those whose flames within them have been burning bright with a fragrance that lingered day and night in the eternal inner chambers of the king's heart, where she will always be and is and always has been, are being anointed with a new oil that not only carries the fragrance of heavenly places, but it carries the abundance of heaven. Abundance of fire, fruit, signs, wonders, and miracles will go with them wherever they go. God is anointing them with something fresh. Just as the air is filled with the smell of rain, these ones are a sign that the glory will soak the earth and rivers will flow out of their innermost being. Everything they touch will spring to life. Their words are water to the thirsty, water that soaks the desolate hearts and lands. The Lord says, and I do, I do. Cascading rain is coming, abundance of fruit. The land shall increase in vibrancy and delight of my vineyards. For without rain, there is no wine, for wine is mostly water and my rivers will eternally flow. For the enemy has made plans to dam up the gates of these ones carrying the rivers of living water. But my anointing breaks every yoke and plan. Come, come, come and see the rain flow from them, my beloved, my delights. The earth shall be covered with my glory, says the Lord. The vineyard grapes are in the pressing as I speak. The new wine is in production. The wine will bring in the harvesters and the harvesters will see what I see. My kingdom is at hand and the violent take it by force. Drip down, O heavens, from above and let the clouds pour down righteousness. Let the earth open up and salvation bear fruit and righteousness spring up with it. I, the Lord, have created it.